Hey guys, this is Kate, and I'm going to do an 8.5 by 11 layout this time. I decided to mix it up again. Last week I did Project Life, and this week I'm doing a smaller scale layout for my Honeymoon album. So I took a piece, two pieces of Geolizzy paper and um, mounted these. I cut the bottom one to 8.5 by 11 and then the top one to mount the photograph on. And I'm just going through and picking out some embellishments. There are so many fun embellishments in this kit that I had such a hard time choosing. It wasn't that I had a hard time finding something that worked, it's that I had a hard time narrowing it down from, I had a bunch of ideas of different ways to cluster them and stuff and I had to keep like restraining myself and going back and edit, editing and re-editing. So I'm gonna commit to putting my pictures down because I know that I want them in that upper left hand corner and I want to put um, one of the journaling cards kind of offset to the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to go through and pick um, which one I, I want to use. And I end up using the pink one with the stitching on it. And then I love these chalk labels. These, so I'm going to go ahead and stick that down also. These hearts are amazing. I wanted to use all of them, but there just wasn't enough room on this layout. And then the little Dear Lizzie wood um, epoxy buttons are really fun. I, I was searching through this October afternoon ephemera and I kept going back to these evilicious tags also. I'm going to add some black photo corners just to tie in that black and then some of the October afternoon washi tape which is so cute. The multiple color one and I'm going to stick this little sticker down in the top right hand corner that says picture perfect and then one that one of the little hearts and then I used one of the little tabs also. And then I'm going to stamp this. I love this hashtag with the dotted line stamp. I've used it a ton. Um, and I'm going to use it again here. And then I'm going to start my title, which is going to be Amazing View. And I'm going to use two different kinds of thickers. I'm going to use these um, glittery blue ones. And then also this. It's an interesting color. It's kind of an orangey, corally, pinky red if that makes any sense whatsoever. So I realized that I had the title a little askew there, so I'm going to reposition that so that it fits properly. And then I'm going to um, add this. This is a wood veneer. It's actually from last month's kit that I had left, but I really wanted to use it. And I think about taking the center out of that one and and using the, just the epoxy part, but then I decide just to add another um, wood one there because I think it needs three things and I'm going back and forth trying to think of what to add and what I'm like I said I keep editing and re-editing myself on this one um, I'm think I'm looking for a roller date stamp yes I am I'm going to use the one from last month's kit and I'm also going to use one from my stash to put the date on here and I'm also going to add some letter stickers to that journaling card. And I love these from Studio Calico. They're awesome. I'm just going to put hashtag San Fran. Um, there wasn't enough room for Cisco, so <laughs> we all know what it means, right? And then I'm going to add a few enamel dots, the smaller ones, mixed in with those embellishments. And then also on this San Fran tag or journaling card. And that is going to finish this layout. Um, I really like this size. I'm thinking about making some more um, layouts in the 8.5 by 11 size just to mix it up a little bit. 12 by 12 is a pretty big canvas, and especially with these smaller pictures. So here I'm just kind of showing you the finished product and there's going to be some detailed close-up shots at the end so still fiddling look thanks so much for watching check out the hip kit club see you guys real soon